Good YouTube, Jam Crow here, aka Scoop, back with you. Pokemon Battle Federation Season 7, week number 4, I think. I think I've uh, caught Andy versus JR live. So we got JR GB, coach of the. <clears throat> excuse me. Coach of the um, St. Kilda Superiors versus Andy, coach of the St. Louis Carbanks. So the two St. teams here going at it. Um, JR leads with the Mammal Swine. I don't know either teams. I just got, I just hopped on, saw him online, so hopped in. And uh, yeah, so he, he's going to lead Mammal Swine against Andy's Celebi. And in comes the Celestilla. So let's see what Celestilla maybe scares out the Celebi. Maybe Celebi throws off a lead seed, uh, predicting Celebi to make, or Celestilla to throw off a lead seed or something. Ooh, just nasty plots not even bad so Celestilla goes for the hidden power and it does not, not much to the Celest uh, the Celebi not much at all So the, st the Celestilla's got a big chunk down on the Celebi, but it looks like the Celebi will be able to knock out the Celestilla now. But in comes the Entei on the uh, Hidden Power. It doesn't do much. what's going to happen here. Maybe the Celebi has something to hit the Entei with. Maybe not. Goes for the extreme speed and picks them off. Okay, that was... That should have been more obvious. I've had a long day. So now, in comes the Aerodactyl. This is Mega Aerodactyl, mind you. So outspeeds uh, JRGB's entire team. Bar Scarfers. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Probably a Stone Edge. Stone Edge is a no drawback play, it's everything. Uh, JRGB really doesn't have a switch in, to be honest. And the Celebi's weak and the Celebi's still look pretty good, so that's pretty nice. You can see once the Serp and the uh, Mammal Swan go down, maybe Ryko can put in some work. If it's like a sub called Mine, Hidden Power Ice, Thunderbolt set. It's got the Grand Bull there, it's nice to see. Good old franchise. So in comes the Celestilla. Is the Aerodactyl actually gets up rocks? So nice man's play there. Well, not really. A, I guess. I mean, it was a good play. Nice aggressive play. I like aggressive plays. I'm an aggressive player, so I like aggressive plays. So now we got the Aerodactyl. Have to uh, risk the Stone Edge here. It should knock out even if max defense. It goes for the Fire Fang though. It doesn't want to risk the miss. Uh, the miss, I should say. And I don't blame him. I wouldn't have risked it either if I was packing the Fire Fang. Um, I guess the Fire Fang covers the Celestilla without really having a chance to miss. And now he brings in the Primarina though. So Aerodactyl likely to just click uh, Switch Out or click Stone Edge. Um, I guess there's still reason to keep Aerodactyl around.
Definitely can just always come in and click Stone Edge. It outpaces his entire team bar Scarf. Um, this could be Scarf Primarina, but I, I doubt it. I'd see it being more like maybe offensive, but not Scarf. Um, and even if it is Scarf, I think Aerodactyl still outspeeds um, up to base 80s with a Choice Scarf. Pretty sure. No, no burn. No burn. Okay, good. Uh, Hitmon Lee comes in and gets no burn. Good deal. But what can it do back to the Prima Arena? Maybe has the poison jab, maybe not. Don't know. Goes for the fake out though. Does get the flinch. So that's nice. Let's see what's gonna happen here. He goes for the poison jab and the Kibia berry pops. And Moonblast is gonna knock out. So Moonblast does knock out the Primarina, and now Andy has to choose what he wants to go into here. He could go into the Raikou, and if it's bulky, and the Primarina has no offensive investment, it could potentially uh, set up a sub and start calm mining. However, it could also just come in and click Thunderbolt and not really risk any HP. Yeah, JRGB is going to switch out hard into the Serp, not wanting to uh, lose Primarina just yet. Maybe has some merit that I personally don't know about because I don't know how his team's constructed. But now we have Serp versus the Raikou. Raikou uh, has natural, naturally high speed death, so it can chew any one hit here, but don't know if it wants to take the hit. And um, don't know if it necessarily wants to let Serp start setting up some Leaf Storm boost, which could be potentially scary for any opponent, not just Andy. So, um, Andy does still have Chandelier in the back, which if it's a Choice Scarf variant, could always revenge kill this Serp. Um, which actually makes sense now that I think about it. Scarf Chandelier actually makes a whole lot of sense. Could potentially outpace Altautomite Celestilla. Um, no Scarf Latios. I think that's actually Mega Latios. I think Leaf Storm is a pretty safe play for uh, JRGB. He could be really uh, innovative in this build here. He could be dual screens or like sub seed. So there's always that possibility as well. And yeah, so I switch out here. It could be very, very detrimental if he's like a sub seed variant or like a. Okay. Signal Beam. Any. No, no. I was going to say it reveals to be Scarf, but Raikou is naturally faster than Surf. Um, choose the hit. Uh, I don't know if it will live the second one. I don't think it will. But I think Signal Beam will pick him off at this range. Yep, it does knock him out. Down goes the Surf, and we're back to a 4 4, folks. Let's see what's going to happen here. I do believe that Mammal Swine can come out here. Um, I think that's I think that's the best play. I guess you do have to watch out for the Aura Sphere. Seeing Signal Beam does make you think Aura Sphere. I don't know if Aura Sphere is only with the shiny version and a rash nature or not. So what's gonna come in? Intake could come in too. If it's uh, bulky enough to chew a hit, it could always chew a hit and then uh, knock out the Rocco with like a Sacred Fire or something like that. Maybe a Flare Blitz guarantees the knockout. I'd say I'd say Sacred Fire, uh, Sacred Fire pretty much guarantees a knockout at this range too. Especially if he's offensive. So he does bring in the Mammal Swan. So we got Raikou versus Mammal Swan here. 
I would say Andy just switches out into Grand Bull here, uh, and I think that's I think that's an obvious play, and I think that Mammal Spawn will go for the rocks here, Stealth Rocks. It is uh, his only rocker in this match, and now is a perfect time to get him up, predicting the Rocko switch. However, Andy could be aggressive here, and if you're my boy Andy, you're gonna pull out the Aura Sphere if it's possible with without shining. However, if it's not possible, then you will pull out some other tech and stay in here predicting the stealth rocks on your switch. Um, however, he could clear earthquake here, so if that's the case and you and, and you faint, uh, it was stun or die at least. My, my boy JRGB here has a uh, really solid build, so he, goes, so he goes for the hidden power, and it's going to be on the stealth rocks play. Yes, just like I said, nice. Nice man's play. Now he can switch out into Grand Bull, aka Franchised. So here comes the hidden power. It's not very effective on this bad boy. So I wonder what type of hidden power it was. Super effective on Memo Swan, but not effective on Latios. Signal Beam is nice here. It goes for the side shot. Going to be able to pick up the knockout, but it's left low enough for Mega Aerodactyl to revenge kill. Or Scarf uh, Chandelier, like I mentioned earlier in the match. If he's Scarf. Like, I don't know his set still, so I don't know if he's Scarf. Alright, so he brings in the chandelier, so that pretty much confirms my suspicion of Choice Scarf. So I'd like to see it here. It, is it like, and what does JR do here? Uh, does just JRGB stay in here and scout if he's Choice Scarf by seeing if he goes first? Does he preserve the Mega Latios? Um, does it serve him any purpose? It is outsped by Mega Aerodactyl. It is, uh, Dragon Moves are immune, and he's likely to be Okoed by. On my fairy type attack from Granbull. So is Megalodios worth keeping here? Maybe for differential. Maybe maybe it does serve some kind of merit, like I was mentioning. I don't know the structure of his build. And if he's not Choice Scarf, it'd be nice to get some uh, if he's not Choice Scarf if Andy's not Choice Scarf Chandelier, which he is, okay, he reveals it. But if he wasn't, then it would have been some nice chip there with Sci Shock or maybe even Draco for the kill. If he was packing it, I don't. I don't know their sets. Uh, once again, sorry to keep saying that, but I need to remind you guys. I don't know their sets, so I don't know if the moves I say that they could be going for are even on their move. You know, in their move slots. So Chandelier knocks out the Megalodios. In comes the Entei, and in comes the Grand Bull to get that nice Intimidate off. And I think Mega Aerodactyl. Plus, Scarf Chandelier actually is going to be able to wrap up the game. But I'm not going to count JRGB out just yet. I've seen him, I've seen him <laughs> pull out some victories that uh, he maybe should not have had. So uh, it's very likely that he could uh, do it once again. Solid player, so maybe he has something up his sleeve. So, yeah, what Grand Bull could do here is could throw off a Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave's a nice play because it catches Entei it, and it catches Primarina on the switch. Um, Grand, like, Mammal Swan's not the best play. Okay, so he just goes for the Earthquake, which would have caught, you know, all of the all three Pokemon on the switch. And it's going to pick up the Knockout, though, but he does take a hefty, hefty chunk from... Stone Edge, which puts him in range from any one hit from Primarina or Mammal Swan. In comes the Mammal Swan. Speaking of the devil, let's see what he's got. Goes for the Earthquake. 
Now I don't know if Mammoth Swan actually revealed an item yet. I'm doing no calcs. I don't have their sets, so calcs would be pointless for me to try to determine their sets here. But okay, here in comes the chandelier. Um, I think Scarf Shadow Ball is good enough to go ahead and finish the game off uh, at this point in the match. It should be good to go. So yeah, he's gonna pick up the Shadow Ball knockout there. In comes the Prima Arena. And this should be a nice shadow ball here. Picking up the win for Andy. Staying undefeated. Moving on to 4-0 versus uh, JRGB here. And Curtis, had I taken you up on your bet, I would have lost this bet. So, yeah. Good game, fellas. Very fun to watch. Very fun to commentate. Nice, fast-paced. Very offensive uh, on both ends. And really enjoy those type of battles. So, yeah. There we go. Um... This will be uploaded almost instantly. Um, yeah, good game. Nice scarf chandelier coming through, like I suspected. And yeah, I don't, I can't see. <laughs> uh, didn't see much from Celestilla. It got, uh, it got lured by the by the Celebi and was taken out early. Um, Aerodactyl and chandelier really make a nice combination in this matchup but yeah this is a really good game uh nice to commentate and yeah we'll see you guys next time leave a like comment subscribe let me know what you thought about the prep on both sides and the plays on both sides this is quick nice fun paced battle let me know what you thought was uh, pokemon of the match mvp and of course play of the game so yeah leave a like comment subscribe all the good stuff and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching